What's up, guys? This is James from James at Productions. In my last video, I talked about how to create cycle actions like this. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check it out. So in this video, I'm going to go more in depth in the cycle action editor. I'm going to explain three of the statements in the cycle action editor: if, if not, and else. And I'm going to teach you how to make conditional actions by using the statements, which means actions that perform differently according to different situations. For today's example, I'm going to create a record button that will turn on the metronome automatically when I'm recording in normal mode, while it will turn off the metronome when I'm using the auto punch mode. Because in my workflow, I only use auto punch mode when there are things that are already recorded. You don't have to do this, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So let's get right into it. First off, open up your action list and type and open this up. In here, right click, add cycle action. Now this name is going to appear in your action list. Come to the right side, right click, at statement if. Now pay attention. The action following the if has to be a toggle. How do you know if an action is a toggle? Go to action list, take a look at the state. If there is on and off, that means the action is a toggle. If there is not, it's not a toggle. So now I'm going to find the auto punch mode toggle. This is the one I want and we can see that it's a toggle. Right click, come back here, right click, insert, paste it. And now what I want is if this mode is on, I want to disable the metronome. So I'm going to find the action disable metronome right now. Same thing, right click, copy. So after that, I will want a record action because this action as a whole is a record button, but it's a kind of smart record button. So now I'm going to find a record action, which is this one. Same thing, copy and paste it. Now the logic here is that if this toggle is on, this action would be performed and then this action will be performed. And now we need to set what will happen if this action is off. So in here, right click as statement, if not. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, ac this toggle action. So if this action is off, I want to enable metronome. So I'm just going to find that same thing, copy and paste it. And finally, record action. So now our smart action is completed. So I'm just going to go through it again. If this toggle is on, this will be performed and then this will be performed. If this action is off, this will be performed and then this will be performed. So that's the logic. It's actually pretty simple. Remember to come back here to click apply. Now we're going to test it out. Right now I'm not able to record the audio coming from my system, but you will actually um, you'll be able to see this working. This is the metronome button. You will see it highlighted when I enable the metronome. This is the button for auto punch. When I enable it, you will see it highlighted. So with auto punch mode on, I want the metronome to be off and then I want to record. Let's test it out. So right now my auto punch mode is on, my metronome is on. So when I click record, it should be able to turn off my metronome and record. So you can see that the metronome is being turned off and it's recording. So that works. Now let's test it when the auto punch mode is off. This button should be able to turn on the metronome and then record. So now you can see that the metronome is being turned on and then it's recording. Now because this toggle action is the same as this toggle action, there is another way of doing it, which is using the else. In that case, all we need is one if and one and if. So right now I'm just going to um, delete this and also you can delete the same toggle action. So now in here, you just right click at and else. So what this means is that if this is on, perform this and this or else, which means when this toggle is off, perform this and this end of statement. It's the same thing if you use if not and else. Just switch this around. I hope that actually makes sense. So that's it for this video. And that's how you use if, if not, and else. If you have any questions, comment it. I will absolutely answer it. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more coming up, please subscribe. I'll be teaching how to use other statements in the cycle actions. So stay tuned. Peace.